latest headlines and most accurate forecast from 41 Action News. I'm Gabriella Pagan. Here are your headlines for Sunday, January 17th. First, an update to a homicide. A 21-year-old woman has now been charged in the shooting death of 36-year-old Keith Lars. According to court documents, Tatiana Coppage knew Lars would be near Independence Avenue and Benton Boulevard that afternoon on January 13th. She allegedly told police that when he pulled out a gun and fired at another vehicle, she used her own gun to shoot him from her car. And Sunday is also your last chance to support someplace new through Kansas City's annual restaurant week. Over the last week, more than 100 restaurants have been featuring exclusive menus for participants to try something new. It's just one way people can support local restaurants through this pandemic. If you're looking to try someplace new for dinner on Sunday night, you can find a link to participating restaurants over on our website, KSHB.com. The Missouri House will not be in session this week after COVID-19 cases rise in the Capitol building. Missouri House Speaker Rob Viscavo released a statement Thursday saying, quote, we're exercising an abundance of caution to protect members, staff and visitors by canceling session next week. Our goal is to return to work the following week. Senate Pro Tem Dave Schatz confirmed that the Senate will be in session as scheduled. That will begin on Tuesday. Wes. Partly cloudy skies tonight. Temperatures seasonably chilly near about 25 degrees. A mostly cloudy sky tomorrow. Kind of a filtered sunshine look as a mid-level deck of clouds will be over us all day long. The wind will be really light, especially compared to the last few days. Southwest only about five miles per hour with high temperatures in the lower to middle 40s. About the same thing for Tuesday. Mostly cloudy skies there. 55 for Wednesday. A really nice day. And Thursday, the nice weather continues. We're at 54 degrees. A cold front comes through and drops temperatures back down to the 30s. You can get your news and weather anytime at KSHB.com.